Now I know what you're thinking. It's been like almost three months since you made a fucking video, puppeteers. What are you doing? What I what have you been doing these past few fucking months, huh? I I don't know. I don't know exactly know how to answer that, but uh hey, I'm here now, aren't I? Hey guys, it's Coco Tears, and we're finally here at the Walton Files 4 teaser overview. This has been a long time coming. I've really wanted to make this video for a long time. Ever since I did that poll on my community tab. By the way, thank you guys so much for voting. I really appreciate all of your input on the things that I make. And, you know, of course, I hope to become a better content creator because of it. So, I guess to get this started real quick, I think I missed quite a few things since my last Find Jack Walton video. So instead of diving into the inertia of what we have lined up for the Walton Files 4 and future installments, let's take a look at some of the things that I have not gone over since Jack Walton's site has last been updated. So... I'm getting a little ahead of myself already by saying this, but there has been um, teasers released by the VAs of Walton Files. Like, for example, Boozoo's actor released one, and we're going to watch all of those in this video, too, in case some of you don't really like to use Twitter or anything like that, which I don't blame you. And, um, yeah, we'll, we'll watch all of those videos together in this, in this one. Right after we <laughs> get through these hurdles. So, kind of a spoiler alert. Um, Rosemary was actually an artist. And she made this. This was something that Martin hosted on his community tab a while back. Um, it's called Black and White. Which is very interesting. And even more so... In interesting wise is that this was made almost like let's see 14 days after Jack Walton went missing so that's really interesting and now that I fucking look at the actual image itself you can see Ed and Molly probably the most important people in our discussions today in the middle there that's uh Wow, this is... Holy shit, this is a lot more fucked up than I... Okay, now that I really look at this image and know that the context of this was after Jack went missing, uh, yeah, this is really fucked up. Not just because Ed and Molly are fucking missing. Not just because Jack went missing. But she drew this picture after he went missing, bro. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> Why would she, why would she do this? That that's I mean I draw to cope with a lot of you know mental instability sometimes. I mean what artist doesn't? But like this is this is a really really sad and pretty disturbing image honestly. Um wow. Like just seeing Ed and Molly's silhouettes in the window there. And, you know, the cr fucking cross on top of the house, the, like, the house's roof. Which you typically see at a funeral. <laughs> and, uh, oh yeah, speaking of funerals, um, I kind of forgot to mention this earlier, but a lot of people have pointed it out in my previous video. Thank you guys so much, by the way. I'll, I'll p throw up your comments now, the people who have, uh, said it. But, um... It appears as on that, um, the bunny, like the bunny site on the Jack Walton page. If you play the audio, um, in the song, you could actually hear voices, like faint voices as if you were inside of a funeral. So this could be either Jack's funeral or Ed and Molly's funeral or all three combined. Cause like, oh my God, yikes. Oh my God. And I... What if fucking Rosemary drew this for the funeral? I mean, it wouldn't make sense for Sophie to be there, but... I don't know. So, yeah, um... We already have a lot to dissect with this image. Um... 
The fact that it's called black and white is very interesting. But not as interesting as the next image that we got here, because um, this was on actually on Jack Walton's site. I think the page, like the slash that you put in the Jack Walton page, the slash is called Rosemary Art Room. And you we're going to see more of Rosemary being an artist later. Um, spoilers, but it's going to be a plot point that is going to be brought up a lot in 4, I, I believe, and future installments. So I, I, I would love it if, like, we we could use this like media like rosemary's like art as a pov as a lens to view this series like could you imagine if like this painting came to life and was moving and like really fucked up gory shit happened today oh my god it would be so cool but one i mean martin isn't alone but the his crew can only do so much and it is martin primarily drawing this shit so but I'm just saying, Martin, that'd be super duper cool. I mean, it wouldn't make much sense, but I don't know. Like, as like, if a spirit is haunting a tape in universe as like Sophie's recording or something, and if it was like Rosemary, I don't know. I'm, I'm just kind of rambling again. It feels good to ramble like this again about Walton Files, though. All right, let's, let's, let's move on before I get carried away. So this is the second image. Um... Curious about this one. The exact date was not specified on this one. And, um, notice how this is awful, ugly, unholy foreshadowing. Holy shit. Like, this is, this is bad foreshadowing. This is like, this is like, this is the most unfortunate thing I've ever seen with my own eyes. This, like, foreshadowing. Like, this is this is so fucking sad. This image is just really sad. The fact that she drew this before or even after, like maybe. Okay, I I'm so glad I remember this because as I was putting these images together, I forgot about it. But now now I remember again. What if this was the last thing that Rosemary drew before she got fucking killed by her her vengeful waking husband who who by the way the face is obscured um from this and of course rosemary being a sheep in this along with the rest of their kids being like little sheep it, it's it's like oh my god this is this, this is just so fucking unfortunate but um oh my god like the fact that Oh, oh, I also remembered something else. Um, so you know how in, like, one of my first Walton Files videos, the, specifically the Jack Walton one, um, on the Jack Walton missing page, like, when it first appeared, it showed Jack Walton, and under his image, you fucking see Boozoo, and the description reads, like, he wears a dark red suit, as if, like, Boozoo's red suit looks something like it, and Boozoo has long hair like Jack. And I made the theory that Susan kind of built Boozoo out of, like, as an inspiration from Jack. And, um, I think Susan may have built Shaw, possibly, as an inspiration to this artwork. Because they look scarily similar. I'm sure maybe Shaw was already built at this time. Or maybe, maybe she wasn't. Maybe she was just developing. Well, we do know that um, this episode is called The Walton Files for Cyberfun Tech. So, I mean, it, we could see, like, Susan building these fucking things. And maybe we'll, that theory will finally be confirmed. It would be super cool and really wholesome, like I said in that previous video, if Susan, like was really close friends with the whole family felix jack rose and the rest of the kids and uh i i, I have yet to talk about charles but we we will get to him trust me anyways um moving on to the next image this is just kind of like a little like cool thing that i noticed that martin does but so you know how in this image the sheep version of jack's face is obscured so it kind of looks like Jack 
it isn't even a sheep at all. It's, but it's just his face is obscured. Well, this teaser image of young Sophie is also, like, you can barely see her chin. But it's, I, it's like, something I noticed. Like, both Jack's face and Sophie's face were obscured during this period of time. Like, I think that's really, really, really fucking cool. Like, it, sh it symbolizes how Sophie is going to start losing her memory soon. I don't know how all of this is going to be canonically filmed, probably by Felix, or CCTV fucking footage from the Bonds Burgers restaurant, or the house. I'm sure Jack, of course, was very protective over, like, the whole family, so he installed security footage. I, 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 I don't know. I don't know how this shit is going to be filmed. Um, I, I mean, I don't know why I'm concerned with this. Martin always finds a way to, like, put that in, like, and ma have it make sense, but, you know, I'm sorry, I'm rambling again. I just thought, like, you know, the, the, the correlation between these two is really fucking cool. Like, of course, they're, like, father and daughter, but, like, just the fact that they look very similar. It's just, like, I love that little detail. Martin just, just, just loves to add those, like, little details. And I, I just love him for that so much. We all we all love you, Martin. I don't know if you're going to be watching this video, but uh, or any of the VAs, by the way. If you guys are watching this, I appreciate all of you, like all the work you guys do for this series. Oh, fun fact, real quick. I'm, I'm just, I, I, I don't know how else to say this. Um, Cocker. Um, who is Felix's voice actor in 3 and 4. He, uh, he's retired from Felix. Um, I believe the um, reason was he just, you know, he doesn't have that passion for Felix anymore, I suppose. He's kind of outgrown Felix. Don't quote me on that, though. I, I'll put the tweet up just to be sure. But um, I, he's going to be voicing Felix in Walton Files 4. He did confirm that on Twitter, but, like, it's kind of a shame, cause like I, I th like I don't see anyone else voicing Felix, you know, and it's crazy that like the ideal voice for him is only gonna be in two episodes. It's just kind of sad, but at the same time, I also really respect him. I respect his decision, cause trust me, I get it. I get like losing interest in a character and not wanting to be associated with him in a way. I I totally understand and get it. But, uh, Cocker, if you're watching this, I love you, man. You're the greatest. I respect you and all the other VAs so much. Um, just thank you for making Walton Files what it is today. If if you guys are on Twitter, go give them some love and tell them that I sent you. Because, like, they are super-duper cool people. And Walton Files would not be the way that it is. A.K.A. fucking awesome without their help. So, keep that in mind. All right, sorry. Always, always rambling. Oh, yeah. So this is something that I forgot to mention in the previous video. I literally had these images downloaded on my fucking computer. But, um... So there's gonna be a little doll segment. Involving, I think, all the animatronics. Because I also saw a screenshot of Buzu in the same, like, little style as Shaw is. But the fact that there is a Shaw doll... And then what looks like to be a Rosemary doll with, like, a gaping fucking mouth. Like, I, I don't like that. I don't like that very... I, I don't like that at all. I don't like that very much at all. <laughs> nah. Nah, I'm, I'm good, Chief. This is pretty self-explanatory. I mean, Shaw's in a field with a bunch of flowers. Flowers equal roses, even though they aren't roses. And it's gonna transition to her being fucked up or something like this doll version of her being like ripped from limb to limb and also <laughs> i i i know this is gonna sound a little fucked up but god i want this shit to be gory dude like i want to feel the devastation i want to feel i want to feel things from this series again we us walton files fans are just so touch starved from content especially me because this is, like, my third favorite. And it's fucking amazing. Like, analog horror-wise, it definitely stands as its own. And I'm 
I'm very happy that Martin has differentiated it between other analog horrors. Kind of like how Alex Kister also made Mandela different from other analog horrors. I love how all of these creators, like, made shit, like, unique to their series. And Walton Files is no fucking exception. From the fucking teasers that I've seen... Dude, oh my god, this this shit is gonna be so fucking good. It's already over like an hour and a half for this fucking video. And I love how Martin Walls was like, oh yeah, this isn't gonna be fucking longer than an hour, and then it's an hour and thirty minutes and and counting. So I just thought I just thought that was interesting. We're gonna get so much content. I, I am not ready. He's he's gonna release it soon, I I feel. Maybe a couple months from now in October when Bunny Farms, like, third anniversary comes. I'm not sure. Um, maybe June 11th when Jack Walton's fucking... When he went missing? Huh? Ha 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 He'd be super clever for doing that. But also a little predictable, too. But predictable is not bad in this case. It'd be so fucking cool if, like... In universe, Anthony just so happened to fucking release this shit on the day that he went missing and was probably subsequently killed. It's fucking. It's it's cool to think about like what's gonna happen because like this fucking doll segment is is going to be very unsettling and and or very brutal and screamy and loud. So I can't wait. Oh my god, I can't. I miss the horror. I miss the fucking shock value. Of this series and Martin Walls does it so good and I just can't wait okay so this is from the ed or the you know Anthony's page brightonghost.com so this is from the object possession shit like this section so this was the latest one so I I'm sure if you go to Brighton Ghost and then click on object possession this is what you will see right now Unless I'm wrong. I, I'm pretty sure I'm right, though. So, this one says, Sophie, where's Rosemary? Instead of the typical, like, object possession definition. So, yeah, there's there's some possession going on. Um, and, then we, and, then we, and then we have this. Which is, like, one of the saddest things I've ever fucking read. Ed and Molly's favorite story is Mary Poppins. Was it now? Are we gonna get a reenactment of that scene, maybe? You know, like, if when Rocket was in that fucking house, when Rocket Bunny had that video playing in it. So, it's it's very obvious that something is haunting this page in, in universe at this fucking point. So, yeah. There's a lot of fucking emphasis on Ed and Molly and, and Rosemary. I love the emphasis on the other family members. Because I, I know that we got, like, lore in, in 3 and stuff. But, um, I don't know. I, I, I Like, we're going to get a really deep dive into characters. Like, how Rosemary dealt with this fucking bullshit. How, how she dealt with fucking Jack going missing. And we've already seen glimpses. Of her, of her mental state fucking shattering. And Sophie having to bear it. And soon she's going to have to bear it all by herself. I don't know how she's going to get those hands on those pills. But holy shit, it's going to be really sad. God damn it. Alright. And this is also <laughs> on uh, the car. Uh, can you play... Um, poker with ghosts question and it was changed to go visit rosemary's art room someday so i feel like this is directed at sophie if she finally starts to remember i mean she clearly very much does in four because like how, why else would that fucking dialogue be there like you know what you're getting yourself in i know what i'm getting your myself into you don't so don't try and stop me. Or, or I was something along those lines. She was very clearly talking to Jenny, and uh, I have a feeling that the fucking Bond murders are going to come back to Jenny specifically. I have no idea why, but I don't know. It's just a feeling. I might be totally wrong, but Jenny might be connected to this whole fucking thing more than you realize. 
Oh man, uh, I, I hope it's not the case. I hope like she doesn't. I don't know, man. And this, this is pretty self-explanatory stuff. So something's new. This was the old Jack Walton page, like the the front page and stuff. And this is the latest one. Home sweet home. Still waiting? Yeah. Yeah, we are. Thanks. And, um... So, Boozoo fans, are you ready for this installment? Because, uh... Here we got Charles. Who is probably definitely a higher up from Cyberfun Tech. Either that or the stage manager. Maybe the announcer who brings out the animatronics? That'd be pretty cool if he was both. I'm not sure. He seems like a higher up from Cyberfun Tech specifically. Because maybe this is a video of Charles and Susan testing out the robots. I'm not really sure. If this is, like, what I'm thinking it is, I hope Charles and Susan have good banter because it really seems like they'd be good buddies. I don't know, that's just a little headcanon. It's a shame that we haven't even seen that yet considering they fucking died. But, you know... What, what, what the fuck do I know, right? Oh, boy. Let's, let's get into the big one, shall we? Okay. Um, so I may have found... I, I think I dug a little too deep into this gold mine. Um, so as I was researching stuff for this video, I came across this fucking website called waltonfilesarchives.com. And oh my fucking god, the Discord shit that happens in that fucking server, which I am in, by the way. My name is, uh, Puppeteers, if you want to look me up on the Walton Files Discord server. I, I got in. I, I somehow got into that server, so that that's interesting. Anyways, um, sorry, just thought I'd point that out, I guess. I don't know. Um, so... The Walton Files Archives, whoever runs that site, um, is clearly doing a much better job at this than I am because, oh my god. Uh, I, um... So, you, do you guys remember the Bunny Smiles jingle video that me and my girlfriend reacted to way back when? Oh my god. So that channel apparently has... <laughs> has, the, has shit like this. Has, like, code that translates into... A link that leads to here. I, I I cannot even comprehend how how to even get here normally, but I got here easily through uh, the waltonfilearchives.com. I'm gonna link them in the description below. I would not have found this without them. In fact, all credit goes to them for finding this, because I, I would not have found this. I I don't I don't I don't understand. I <laughs> Sorry, uh, we're gonna get to the fucking other shit, like, the investigation shit, if I can find it. It's, I'm having a really hard time finding it, but I, I will find it. Okay, let, let me read. This article has been archived by the Brighton Library for use in its online archival program. This is the first time I've ever fucking seen this. this I think this shit is real. I, 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 I have a lot of reasons to believe so, because I... You know, I don't know why, but I thought that the Felix, uh, Felix Complex K9 channel was, was fake for just a little bit. But then I was like, nah, it's got to be real. And uh, I think obviously it is because, uh, okay, I, I'm just going to read. L local musician hit with am amnesiatic episode, Ashley Partridge. Local celebrities, the Ponzi's, which apparently um, Felix hired to make some of the soundtrack which is which is interesting. Um, I think I'm gonna make a separate video on that though. Um, I uh, wow. Okay, yeah. I think I'm gonna make a separate video on fucking Felix Complex K9 because oh my god, there there is so much to unpack. Like there is so much unbelievably like holy shit moments that I have yet to fucking read. I, I mean, I've seen the soundtrack videos, but not like this. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm gonna keep read now. Local celebrities, the Ponzi, a rock group with two albums that, who were semi-involved in the infamous Walton File case, have been hit hard after their lead member, William Godley, who apparently is the, like, the head of the, um, Felix Complex K9 YouTube channel, by the way. 
suffered a severe anxious fit, which was followed by what doctors are describing as indefinite amnesia. Sound fucking familiar? Hmm. The Ponzi's were formed in 1967 by Godley and two women, Alice McGrant and Deb Mathis. They performed in local clubs before joining a local label. They put out two albums and a multitude of singles, became local celebrities in Brighton and other cities. The group were hired by the local businessman Felix Crankin to record music for a local restaurant. This would entangle the group into the now infamous unsolved mystery given the nickname The Walton Files. While leaving a session for one of these recordings, Godley was brutally attacked by a group of thieves? The trauma from which doctors could say we could be the cause of this current episode? Thieves? What? The locals were hit hard by this news, especially now that it's confirmed that the Ponzi's will no longer record or play live. However, we all wish William a speedy recovery from here in towns, from here in towns alike who love the joy of the Ponzi's and William's music rot. That's it. That's all this fucking this this fuck 1981. This was this was before fucking bonds closed, which of course cl closed in 1982. Oh boy. Oh boy. Um so so bunny smiles jingle. That that William dude, that that was him. The the dude that was talking, that was him. And he got attacked by a group of thieves, and that's what is causing him to have this Sophie-ass fucking, like, amnesia? What, what is happening? I'm so fucking confused. But I think I'll maybe be more caught up if I do a full video on Felix Complex K9. I- Oh my god, I don't- I don't know about you guys, but I have not seen a video I, even talking about- this article in specific, or anything related to Felix Complex K9. Oh my god, I don't- I don't know what is going on. Um, but I'll tell you what, I'll try to get to the bottom of it. There's no fucking promises, though. Okay, let me get on with the fucking real juicy bits from this investigation. Because th this is kind of in the same topic. I will be back. Hang on a sec. I'm gonna try and find this shit. It is so hard to find it, but I will. I've seen it. I- I- I will find it. Okay, okay. It didn't take too long to find, but I, I, I finally found it. And, uh, I haven't read all of this yet, but I can already tell this is, uh, kind of a big lore drop, so let's just get into it. I'll try and read this as best as I can. I know it's, the quality's really fucking blurry, which, you know, I, this look, this looks fucking canon, and I, if I'm proven otherwise, then I, I'm a stupid, but if... I, I, if I don't get proven otherwise, this is fucking canon to me, damn it. Okay. We found BSI department abandoned somewhere outside of California. California? What? Seemed like they were outsourcing a lot of technical aspects of the company. Me and Detective Collins. Oh, the fucking detectives. We're looking into this building and we ended up finding a few different abandoned sections of the building with computers filled to the brim with random bits of code and formatting that we are unfamiliar that we were unfamiliar with. Oh, hello. We took it back to the more technically gifted at the lab. We were able to piece together an ex ex executable executable, sorry, that it's able to be controlled remotely from a secondary location, bro. Bro, we 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 led to believe this was either remote access or for something more akin to using these robots for more devious reasons. You're fucking lying. You're fucking lying to me. So you're telling me in those teaser images for Walton Files Four, we're gonna learn about this? The fact that they can be remotely controlled. Bro, bro, I know what's fucking happening. I know what's happening right now. Holy shit. Fucking Felix controls Bon. Bon fucking murders him as controlled by Felix. Because that would be so fucking fitting, too. Like, he, he can't kill him, like, up front. So he, it's got to it's gotta be, like, the thing that he created instead that kills him. 
Oh my god. Oh my god, that'd be so perfect. How fucking cowardly would that be? That's probably what's gonna happen. Oh my god. Holy shit. The the amount of potential with that information alone. Oh my god. Alright, let me read some more. It's it's to Detective Collins and I's opinion that this may have been used by Mr. Crankin to lure in people, be it children purely for the sake of entertainment or to try and lead some adults he have he has had a vendetta against to harm. Bro, 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 that is exactly how Jack died. That there's no way. There's no way. There's no way. Holy shit. The people at lab haven't found a way to check if this thing takes logs. Nah, bro, holy shit. It says the Walton Files case is still unsolved, so hang on. Closest we have is proof that this was used last used last in July of 1974, aka when Rosemary died, by the way, if I remember correctly. Sorry, my memory's ass. If I'm wrong, just point it out in the comments and I will rescind it. It seems that the Bond animatronic was piloted somewhere to the back of the restaurant. Okay, okay, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. It's Felix fucking murdered Rose. Oh my god. Wait, it was either Felix and Jack murdering her at the same time? Oh my god. Oh my god, that's really fucked up. Oh my god. I was, I, if this is true, I was kind of, I kind of fucking called this shit. In like that one video where I said Jack and Felix are both doing this, doing murders. So it's part Jack, part Felix, and holy shit, I'm getting severe deja vu from this. Oh my god. I don't know why. I feel like I dreamt about this, like this page. I, I don't know. God, I'm so... <laughs> my autistic brain will not, will not stop having deja vu. Also, um, holy shit. Because of this last use type deal, we're trying to see if it will also work for the favor of seeing... If it was used in June of 1974 to possibly link this to the disappearance of the one Jack Walton. <laughs> oh God, no, 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 no. And we're gonna look at some of the teaser videos that the VAs uploaded on their Twitter, and this is gonna tie into that. I'm gonna have some fucking words about that. Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> So far, nothing's been found in the logs for this, but we're luckily we're slowly uncovering a cache of unique and unfound code. We're hoping this will be the day we crack it. I don't think they ever cracked it. Oh god, no. No, they're finding out too much. Felix is gonna kill them. Felix is gonna end their fucking lives, dude. Oh my god, if, if, if this is how Felix murders people, Fucking amazing. Uh, uh, how else could he possibly do it? Huh? There's there's no other way. There's there there can't be any other way. I'm like I'm like get it out of my head. The the tr the tragedy of this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, let's go to the fucking teaser videos now. Um and I will talk, I will then, after I say all I can about the teaser videos and what I think and what might happen, um, I'm gonna see what the future holds. We'll, we'll talk about, we'll talk about what I'm going to do next about this, because I, um, thanks to the key, fine people over at the, the Walton Files archives, which I am going to link them in the description, beautiful amazing job to whoever runs that page or people you all are fantastic i could not have done this on my own at all but i will re relay your found information on youtube and people will see it guys i promise okay uh, i i will be back uh let's let's just go to those fucking teasers now all right so here we are um huge shout out to the person who fucking put this compilation together um this is not my video um but um a huge shout out to this person for i'll, I'll put their also put their channel in the description for put, put, kind of putting this all together because i know uh i think boozoo's va like released two clips lighthouse aka sophie's va twitter also fucking released I, I don't know who released what but anyways um let's just let's just get into it
Ready, set. Also, Evan puts on a new voice for Vaughn, and I love it so much. And this is a uh, very interesting. This is how Bond's Burgers looks on the inside. So that was the first one. It's not much of anything, just to look inside Bond's Burgers. Bro, absolutely spine chilling. <laughs> Sophie, as you could, I, I I don't know if you could guys guys could hear that too well. I'll possibly turn up the volume. I'll I'll try that to do that in editing. But like, she said that this happened. Like, her mom got and whole family got fucking murdered because of her. <laughs> you ca you can't do that, Sophie. First of all, this is all Felix. And the rest of the people who found out too much, like Brian and fucking Ashley, who were the latest victims. Uh, and as you could see, Rosemary is an artist. See? She, she's drawing the, um... Oh my god! Oh my god, now I know for sure. I know for sure now that Rose draws this after Jack goes missing. Because... There's also another image that accompanies this, and it, it, it shows her all depressed and shit. So yeah, she definitely draws this. And, oh my god, yeah, okay, that's really fucked up. I, it, it all just clicked just now. Oh my god. Ugh. I, I, I feel important to the Walton Files community again. This, this is a good feeling. You're my friend, right? I need you to say it. I need you to tell me we're friends, please. Also, holy shit. Amazing fucking act acting by Cocker. So fucking subtle. Like, like, you can tell there's concern in Felix's voice, but behind that, he's a fucking selfish prick, dude. Oh my god, the fact, the, and the way he said it was so realistic, and that was what I crazed him on before in the bunny, uh, bunny farm reaction, my post thoughts for it, he was, oh my god, Cocker, you're so good as Felix, bro, I don't know who, who can fill in your shoes as Felix, but I hope they're as good as you, man, I don't think anyone will be good as you, man, but it's okay. Uh, oh man, I'm gonna enjoy your performance so fucking much, man. I'm gonna miss you. Oh man, he's so good. He's so good. I gotta listen to it again. Hang on. I need you to say it. I need you to tell me we're friends, please. Okay, so um, this is a little problematic. Number one, this is very implied that um, Jack is is with Felix at this moment, and the room that they're in. It's the same room that Rosemary got fucking murdered in, I I think. Or, like, maybe it's just the back room or something. It might be the same room, I don't fucking know. But, oh my god. Like, the, the, the subtle panic in his voice. Like, please, I need you to tell me that we're friends. Please, I need you to say it. Like, bro. Bro, that's such, like, a piece of shit, like, way of saying it. Like, I... You guys, you you guys know, right? Like you guys have had that one ex friend who like, tr like was trying to, to like, you know, fix things, and like, I I need I need you to listen to me, please, and like try to cover up their fucking bad behavior. Oh my God, Cocker did this so well. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm geeking out about Cocker again. I, like, oh my god, the acting's so fucking good. How How is it so good? Okay. No, like, no cap, though. I love the voice acting for both Harmony and Horror. And fucking, um, Monument Mythos, Harmony and Horror, and, um, what was it? Fucking, uh, Mandela Catalog, obviously. Has a lot of really talented b people behind everything, but holy shit, dude! The vo the voice cast for Walton Files, that, like, 
I'm just gonna come out and say it. It's this like it's the best. Like the voice cast for this fucking analog horror is the best out of any of them. Like that that's just no cap for me. Like I really love the acting for Harmony and Horror a lot, especially with the most recent tape. I love like you know, Thorn Baker, Alex Kister, everyone else, Boozer's VA doing Gabriel. I love all that shit. But my God, does Walton Files like? Oh my God, it's so real. You can you can feel the horror. You can you can feel what's about to happen. Like you feel it. Like, and I haven't felt that from any other series other than this. And oh my god, I'm, I'm just so happy to be talking about this series again. It was hard to get through this video at first, but now, now, I, now, I'm, now I'm hyped up for it again. This is, this is good. Oh my god, I'm gonna miss you, Cocker. I'm sure, I'm sure Martin will find someone who's, who's good. But no one could ever replace you, Cocker, buddy. I listened to Sweet Tuesday, it's fucking fire. Which is his band, go check it out, I'll also link it in the description. Ah, and another room. This is, I think this is the K9 storage facility. Now that I think about it, yeah, it totally is, hold on. Yeah, this is it, like, when it wasn't all decrepit and shit, right? Either that or, um... Wait. Wait a minute. Wait a fucking minute. This might be, uh, Jack and Rose's house, maybe? Because, like, these two bunnies over here might be Molly and Ed, maybe? And that's Sophie's room, maybe? I, I, I'm not sure. Um, so someone, uh, all of you put, put your opinions down on what this room could possibly be. Um, I don't, yeah, maybe it's not K9, maybe... Maybe I was looking into it too much. Yeah, because there's family pictures on the wall right there. Oh, then again, there- No, 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 that's Bon and Shaw. <laughs> what is this place? It might be K9. I don't know. I don't know, dude. Okay. Bonny Smiles Incorporated. Most advanced company in Livingston County. Smiles at you. You know whose voice I think that is? That's fucking Charles. That's fucking Charles goddamn Penn. It has to be. It, it's gotta be him. I think that's Kyle, voice actor for Buzu, doing it too. And the fact that he might be voicing Charles as well, that's, that's, that's fucking fire. I love that. I love the parallels between animatronic and possessed human man. My gremlin brain can't take much more. Okay. Um... Alright, so that's the end of the Twitter teasers for Walton Files 4. Um, so, what have we learned? We learned that Rosemary is an artist. She uses art as a way to cope with loss, as any artist would. She drew a lot. She... Unrelated, I mean, sort of related, but... Um, she actually wrote a fucking song for the band that actually... Like... Sorry, that um made this shit, like made the Showstoppers album. She, I think she actually wrote a song. I saw it on uh, the Walton Files Archives dot com. Oh man, oh man, oh man. So Rosemary and then Jack. Jack was fucking killed by Bon through through Felix by remote control. Oh my god, I don't even know how you could fucking do that. But holy shit. The the one thing that is confirmed though is that fucking Felix goddamn Kranken killed Rosemary with Jack. If if Jack is even possessing Vaughn. I think it's pretty obvious that he is, but there's still no like legit confirmation for it. It's heavily implied in the first tape for God's sakes, but I I th then again, we well I'm sure we'll find that out like for sure soon in this fourth installment here i'd be super cool if they revealed that early like because this is like walton files four out of six for the first season dude oh man and um we we have some sus oh my god F felix is on some the thinnest ice i have ever seen 
Oh my god. He he has fucking killed people. He he has murdered people. He has had something to do with Rosemary's murder. That is confirmed now, which obviously that that makes a lot of sense to me cuz the fact that oh my god, the fact that Felix lured the fact that Felix lured her to the back it's basically confirmed like oh my god that's that's really fucked up that that was like that's that's rosemary's brother-in-law bro what the f basically like that's uncle felix bro oh my god i can't i can't i can't with walton files right now like the amount of shit that they're building up to in fucking four i i i have barely begun to sc uh, apparently i have barely begun to scratch the surface of this fucking bullshit because Felix Complex 9 K9 exists so I'm gonna check it out and see how canon it is um I'm gonna end this video here probably I'm, I'm gonna put a pin in it because I've already been talking for a really long time um this video was a little hard to get through at first because I'm in that state where like oh man like I, I'm not really motivated and you know it's all about work, you know, and, you know, being burnt out. Like, but I've really wanted to make content for you guys, specifically this, for a really long time. Um, and I'm so happy that I did. I, I do not regret this at all. I'm, I'm really glad I got through this so I can share this with you guys and just share the multiple things that I've found. Because I haven't seen anyone else talk about this, and I, I want to talk about it. So if any of you guys want to reach out to me, maybe talk about it, like, together or something. Maybe a few content creators that make similar content like this want to reach out and maybe theorize. I, I could totally fucking do that, man. I, I am open to collabs and stuff. So if you, if you ever want to do that, just reach out to me. I'll put my email in uh, my about page, alright? Um... I'll see you guys later. Uh, this was a lot. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If any of the crew from Walton Files see this, I love you. Relay to Martin that I love his series. And I have never stopped loving it. And I know 4 is going to come out soon. And it's going to be absolutely fantastic. Exceeding every expectation. I already know it's going to. And I'm go I'm I and and it's funny because I'm still going to be shocked either way, like by how good it is. All right, I hope you guys have a good one. Seriously, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you later.